High-speed, low-cost internet is a great thing that Mobile Beacon provides to schools, nonprofits, libraries, and many organizations across the state. Joining us are two guests who are going to shed a little more light on what they're doing and how they're helping the community. So we'd like to say good morning to Executive Director Catherine Messier and Sales Manager Rick Lindholm from Mobile Beacon. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning to Kayla. Happy to have you with us. Uh, first of all, congratulations, a huge milestone. Before we get to the celebration and, and what you're doing uh, in order to celebrate, let's talk a little bit about Mobile Beacon. Can you shed a little more light on what it is that you do, uh, what your mission is? Sure. So, um, as you mentioned, Mobile Beacon helps educational and nonprofit organizations get affordable, high speed, low cost internet access so that they can better serve their communities. So, what makes us really unique as an internet service provider mm -hmm. is the first is that our broadband service is available exclusively to educational and nonprofit organizations. And as a nonprofit ourselves, we understand the challenges that many of our clients face from shoestring budgets to variable grant funding. It changes from year to year and just that constant challenge and drive to help more and serve more. It, it, but the second big differentiator is that our service is low cost at $10 a month, perfect. but we're not a low cost, low end internet service provider. We provide the very highest level of service available with truly uncapped, unthrottled data plans. So our value proposition to the nonprofit sector is to have a first class internet service for um, much, much less than commercial rates. And it's something that maybe a lot of people take for granted. Maybe they have that internet access. You know, once you do have that, you're able to accomplish so much more. So you're helping a lot of people and you've been doing so for 10 years. Congratulations again. How are you celebrating? Uh, well, um, we gave out a lot of thought. Um, our leadership team came together and we decided, you know, in order to celebrate our 10 year anniversary, we wanted to do what we love the most and what we're the most proud of, which is helping local community anchor institutions better serve their communities. So we decided to take this huge milestone as an opportunity to supercharge that. So we are going to be awarding 10 community grants to educational and nonprofit entities who embody a similar mission of just creating opportunities for underserved groups of people and those that are working to invest in and educate our nation's future. So they'll get the $10,000 monetary donation, donation wow. plus um, 10 mobile hotspots and laptops so that they can use that to better serve their communities. And you've worked with um, LLS, who we've had on the show before, as well as Providence Public Library. Rick, tell us a little bit about that involvement and how that's benefited. Sure. It's been a, a great relationship because not only do I work at Mobile Beacon, so I get to see all the people that we are helping across the United States, mm -hmm. but Mobile Beacon, I was always involved with the Leukemia Society before I started Mobile Beacon, and Mobile Beacon has always helped me out in everything that I have done with the LLS. So this year, I was very thankful when they announced about the grant program. So the $10,000 went towards my Man of the Year campaign, which just ended, great. plus also great. the 10 last laptops and 10 hotspots that are going to Leukemia Society to be used throughout New England. So not only maybe possibly in hospitals where patients don't have access to the internet, mm -hmm. but those families that may have lost jobs due to COVID, yeah. that now the internet will be able to help them possibly find another job or stay on top of research that's happening within the Leukemia Society as well. So I'm very thankful to uh, Mobile Beacon for continuing the yeah. support in my mission too. Providing a lot of help and a lot of hope at that when we need more than ever. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time and joining us this morning. Thank you, Michaela. Our thank pleasure. You. All right, and what we'll do is we'll put a link up to Mobile Beacon on Roadshow.com if you want to learn more.